fall on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell y'all league? So, for one, I just want y'all to know I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all for tuning in per usual, and you already know it is time to get to uh, the business, which is the, uh, the worldly shit. I told y'all we're going to be reacting to worldly things on this channel, which is my main channel, and um, yeah. It's about that time. Now, y'all know I have a sensitive spirit to certain things. If you don't know, now you know. So certain things I will not be reacting to at all. Uh, in this situation right here, I think it's okay. Because um, nobody, um, y'all know I can only say a, a certain things in the first three minutes. So just be aware of that. But we're going to get into it. Now, I also have to, I'm going to have to back up on this video too. And let this girl explain this because, uh if it's looking a certain way, YouTube gon' you know, send a yellow boy. So basically this is a situation of a multimillionaire lady who, um, you know, was buying houses for people doing things for the community and stuff like that. But child, she got exposed for something. I don't know. And this is all alleged cause I have no idea. She got exposed for, um, for something from this girl on TikTok. Uh, and I don't know it. I don't, I don't really know that part yet because that's the part we about to watch first. But she got exposed for something on TikTok and the lady was ready to put a hit out on her, y'all. Like, this is not even funny. She's ready to put a hit out on her and a couple other girls, allegedly. Um, so we're going to watch this part. I'm just going to be speaking through it to give y'all my opinion on it. Um, lady, if you see this, you know what I'm saying? I ain't do nothing, you know. You ain't got to put me in it. I'm just covering it. You know, all of this is alleged. I don't know what happened. I wasn't there. I ain't spoke to this woman. It ain't none of my business, but it's on the internet. So we're going to talk about it. If you don't want me talking on this video, go ahead and watch the original ones. Wherever the link is, I don't really care. Like Carlos, <laughs> because I don't give a damn. But, um, yeah, it's it, it probably the lineup is might be a little crazy. Bear with me because I'm just now getting into this. But, uh, yeah, let's start with the first one. Now, this young lady is covering the story as well. Her name is called Bentley's My World. Um, she did, um, she took a class, I'm, I'm assuming, with the, with the millionaire lady. She does stuff about um, just helping everybody in the community, but like buying houses, doing, um, what you call it, when you're selling houses, and um, also helping fix credit and things like that. It's a lot going on. So I want her to explain who this first girl is, and then we'll get into it. That way. Okay, so a TikToker by the name of Sharia Hodge. Huh. My first time seeing her TikTok was, or her, her TikTok page was actually when, I, when she posted about Ashley being an alleged scammer. So I ran across that video, or saw the video, and I was like, dang. They were talking about, Ashley scamming them with the credit pie thing. And then it got over into a whole bunch of other things. And now it just has gotten totally out of hand. Like it's totally out of hand. We got the FBI involved. People talking about often people because it is, it's just completely ridiculous. Okay, back to the story. So I ran across Sherelle's TikTok. Alleged so scammer alert. I'm guessing wondering why we here and why I got these two black moguls in my background. Legends say that these two right here <laughs> are some elite scammers. Now, before I get into why they some scammers, you would think that they were an average couple, right? With a little bit of money and there'd be no real backstory behind them besides coming from the mud and finally making it, right? All right. Well, little Miss Ashley right here. Let me tell y'all about her first. Ashley became known after she created a course that generated over a million dollars in less than 40 minutes. Now, I do. Damn. Okay. I want to stop there because I want to say Ashley was already known before her course 
generated a million dollars in less than 40 minutes and i'm totally biased in this situation like ashley didn't pay me she don't know me and i don't talk to any other party i'm just giving you my opinion and my experience so i don't take sides i've never been a person that takes sides but i well friend you just said that you was biased i am a person that i'm gonna state complete facts my facts my honest you know opinion and i don't care if people like it or not i'm just not that type of person i don't take sides like i hear everybody's side and i don't judge people for well that's bias if you're gonna take <laughs> if you're gonna take one side lord people okay what they do the decisions that they make because people have their reasons for why they do what they do but as far as me I consider myself a very, very genuine person and I move genuinely, so I have no need to take either side. Okay, but what I want to say is, so Ashley was already known before she made a million dollars in 40 minutes. And I know that because I was following her prior to her making that million dollars in 40 minutes. Okay, so basically what I couldn't tell you in the beginning was um, the lady is... This TikToker is exposing her for being an alleged scammer. And now it's because she has a course that she made a million dollars in 40 minutes. But allegedly she was already popping. It ain't no way you making a million dollars in 40 minutes and people don't know you. So that already sound like cap to me. But okay. The time that she made a um, million dollars in 40 minutes was when she taught the class that I took. And I took the class in, I took the fall course of 20... 2021 so i screenshot when i i took my class it was in september of 2021 so i took her file course and when she sold that course when she put those courses for sale that's when she made that million dollars in 40 minutes and then she did put up a post about making the million dollars in 40 minutes and how teachable reached out to her and all this stuff who knows if that's true or not I would say, I don't know, who knows, but Ashley is a very, very good marketing genius. And if you don't know anything about influencers and what they do. Okay, obviously this woman is marketable. Let's get back into this girl exposing her. Understanding. The same conclusion. And, and that's the God and it's true. Okay, so. Now the reason we talking about her today is because a lot of people have come to the same understanding the same conclusion that she scams people out of a thousand dollars sometimes two thousand dollars to be able to fund this lifestyle that she's flaunting all over the internet now this is what they're saying is the scam now allegedly she has one that she offers for a thousand and she has a bundle pack where she offers for two thousand i mean people all over the world are saving their coins their pennies their dimes to be able to attend this digital course recipe to potentially become a six-figure business owner or as ashley says she has helped several people accomplish all right let's get into the details of some of the things she has conquered since for one i need to know shout it as talking did you purchase the damn course <laughs> because how is it that she is exposing her for that and she hasn't even purchased the course starting this course First things first, she bought this very expensive castle, and I want to say if I read the paperwork right, this castle is located in North Carolina. Okay. She paid off her mom's mortgage, kudos to that. Then she met, fell in love, got engaged to this weird, <laughs> <laughs> to this quirky looking dude right here. Now let me talk to y'all about Brother Grayson. Brother Grayson was a young, failing black man who started New Credit Law, offering three- Lord, Hold on y'all, that's my little sister. Y'all right? Yeah. Ain't nobody died, did they? Die? Oh, child, I be so scared because you know grandma. Hey, to the butt. I'm just calling to ask you about Orlando. Oh, hey, Lisa. Text Hi. me. Text me. I, I'm doing a 12 hour stream. I got 100 people on my thing. Okay. All right. Bye. Child, I be so scared when family call. <laughs> like, that don't normally call. You be like, what the fuck wrong? <laughs> Is that bad? It's probably bad. Three day courses for $30,000. Now, before he ran into Ashley, he was out here being showboated and sugarboated by this old white man by the name of Robert. Now, Miss Ashley here was the only one to pay the $30,000 to attend this man's class. 
and allegedly it was her way of shooting her shot with this man now the stories and everything that i've read which i'm gonna be coming with the receipts that were sent to me shows that this woman indeed does buy the men that she be with now y'all follow along with me on this journey as i show y'all he look a little a little sweet tish and explain to y'all allegedly why this lady is such a trending topic now now nothing here's my thing with shawty i know what you heard and all that but did you take the class like did you take the class you know what i'm saying and then this is proven facts i don't have proven facts i'm not out here bashing or slandering nobody's name i'm coming with the things that she will not allow to be showed on her platform all the real reviews of her dcr course allegedly how she stole somebody else's course tweaked it amped the price and then promoted it as her own allegedly how she bought her, not allowed to be showed on her platform all the real reviews of her dcr course allegedly how she stole somebody else's course tweaked it amped the price and then promoted it as her own okay. allegedly how she bought her own wedding ring and then said that mr man who moved to dallas with only 27 cents paid for it amongst okay. the whole bunch of other things that will come to the light but if y'all interested drop some prayer hands in the comment y'all already know i'm spending a honestly applaud Sherelle because I kind of feel like she did take a stand for many people that wouldn't take a stand for themselves I feel that but she never said that she experienced the course she never said she bought the course nothing who felt a certain type of way about I know they felt a certain type of way because Ashley would not post um the negative reviews you know and coming from a person that took the course, I honestly feel like a lot of the information may have, may could have been Googled. But that's what a lot of information that people offer in courses, it, it can be Googled anyway. So yeah. you have to do what research and ever. learn what it is you're paying for. You know, you have to learn and, you know, look up the people behind the product if you're that you know interested in knowing but after taking the credit course <laughs> okay, i've so learned a lot more than i knew i didn't know a lot of this stuff um did i go out and make a credit business no i did not i had no plans on making a credit business i still don't i just wanted to be knowledgeable about credit for me and my family's sake so i did learn some things um we had different modules every week and we were supposed to write questions in this Facebook group because she put all of the students in a Facebook group. We were supposed to post our questions and what we had concerns about so that she could discuss it on Zoom that same week. So a lot of people posted questions. She had mods in the group that, you know, supposedly took in courses from her previously and they would kind of monitor the questions they would give feedback and the questions that they could not give an answer to or basically on zoom that that week she would discuss a lot of the questions that people had um now the class that i took i took this course when she first i think a little bit after she met um her current husband and a lot of the times he would run the zoom meetings and he would give a lot of insight and answer a lot of questions that we had well this already don't sound like a scam to me because they actually getting questions answered so i'm confused his dcr recipe in her life started because people were realizing that she never posted like real reviews like let's just say there's no perfect company out of everybody that has taken her course, the only reviews that we see are good reviews. The only receipts we see are good receipts of people that have allegedly taken her course mm -hmm. and made X amount of dollars, whether it be in 10 minutes or whether it be in 10 weeks. And for some strange reason, people are now wondering, why is it appearing that this lady's business is so perfect? Y'all can pause and read this, but let me explain what's going on here. 
This person is just basically explaining how they wasted their money taking a course for a bunch of things that you could have Googled online. Thank you. Now mind y'all, there are people out here. I hate when people do that. This is why I never wanted to teach people how to do YouTube because you can fucking YouTube it. But then you want to take my course and I'll tell you exactly what's on YouTube or Google and you're going to say I scammed you. This is exactly why it took me so long to even decide to even teach a class. Because here you are getting exposed for information that's already available. Whose fault is that? Yours, nigga. <laughs> You're selling Real courses, shit. you know what I'm saying? Seminars and things like that. If you want me to teach you it, if you want me to teach you the same shit you can research, that's not my fault. I, I, I'm confused. I'm one of them, but I feel like I'm going to charge my worth. I'm not about to take a $10 course or a $10 put together uh, seminar or whatever it is and then charge people $2,000 for it. Here's another review. I can. You can pause <laughs> it and read it. Now, a lot of people's responses are the same. They're saying, like, anytime somebody posts a real review of how they felt that the course was copied and pasted from Google, how she really never had too much to say when it came to the Zoom calls, when it came to her connecting with her students, and basically how she's always in front of what appears to be a scam on top of her scam. See where I'm going with this? Here's another review. Pause it and read it. I don't want to read before these I get reviews. to the nitty gritty of why I personally. I read one. I read one. The course unlocked and I see the basic PowerPoint slides to, with information that is easily found on Google. I was pissed. However, I still went through. Hold on. I got a Larry. Got your motherfucking ass. Yes, yeah, sir. Y'all heard that. <laughs> All right. When there was a time here. When there was a time for her to teach you something, she directed us to YouTube video with someone else teaching it. To charge $1,000 for what she offers is a ripoff. Now, are there some success stories? Sure, but the number of failures to success are probably less than 5%. Her course is nothing but a stolen copy and paste from Amy and her credit academy. It's nothing but a sign up for Credit Repair Cloud, which you can sign up and go through their tutorials for 7 to 30 days free. Why didn't you go with her? <laughs> Once I paid for the course material by law, it's mine. So I don't care. Y'all can have it. Then this new credit cake venture is nothing but a affiliate DIY programs. My biggest problem with her is she always stated she built this DCR course when actually it's Amy's course. Child. Pause it and read it. Now, before I get to the <laughs> nitty gritty of why I, I feel as though if you pay for something, if you pay for something that you didn't do your full research on, you therefore scammed yourself. Like, I feel like you have to already go see, like if you, if it's a course that's seven to 30 days, that's free. I'm going to take the seven to 30 days free course first. <laughs> Hello. I wouldn't even think about the one that's a thousand dollars because I'm getting something for free. I don't know. We Some all different. Think, allege that it's a lot of fishy stuff going on. Let's talk about the one that I actually signed up for, which would be Credit Cake. Now, this is her business. Do it yourself credit, DBA as Credit Cake. That's what it is, right? This is her address 10226 Curry Four Road, number 107, Unit 550 in Orlando, Florida. But guess what I did? I took it a step deeper and I decided to Google this address. When I Googled this address, this is what popped up. A public supermarket in Florida along with some other things that could potentially be in the little shopping mall it's actually a China shopping center but it says it has an accurate claim adjusters and before y'all say oh that's it that's the business check it out the business is for loss adjusters I'm guessing as far as insurance claims and all that other thing it has nothing to do with credit y'all see that address down there when I clicked on the map these are all the little businesses that popped up now, is she using a virtual... Girl, it's giving her a Publix. <laughs> a Publix address for me. Office, that's a good question. I'm not really sure. Girl, you could have gave a P.O. Box. Sure, but if you are, why She's are they giving the you an address to, to a Publix facility? What's if up, friend? trying to raid your spot, if they was coming in on some fishy stuff because you evading taxes, how they gonna find you at a public Center? A grocery store. Y'all do the research yourself, but I'm coming with more. 
So shout it just the one to expose everybody, I guess. Okay, y'all. So she made part one, two, and three on TikTok. And a lot of it was kind of messy and just hearsay. Um, because it started getting into this girl's life and what she do. Um, how everything, her whole lifestyle was a scam. Well, let me see the part three. Let me see her, Ashley. Okay, so the TikTok gods have brought y'all back to me. So in this whole little game of charades with Ashley Grayson and Mr. Sir a lot, let me show y'all my next topic as to why I feel the way that I do about these people just scamming. You see this beautiful lady right here? You see this beautiful lady right here? You see what appears to be another review from one of her businesses? This nice, kind, educated lady right here. I don't know if I posted her, but her too. With this lady posting all these people, oh, let me congratulate my DCR cousin. Let me congratulate whoop de whoop de whoop with their success stories. Why is it that they never in the comments saying, oh, it's all praise and honor to you. It's how whatever it is that they would say to somebody that has showed them how to generate money out of nothing. Well, I won't say nothing, but basically bring you out of if you may feel that it's a dark place in your life for, you know, helping people to success. I know this is clearly off topic, but let me dibble and dabble a little bit more into who Brother Grayson is. This is Brother Grayson. Brother Grayson has some skeletons. Brother Grayson is not this billionaire that he claims to be. He may have married the money, but he's definitely somebody who moved to Dallas at 27 cents. Hey, I respect the struggle, but bruh, mm -mm, you partner with the devil. All right, so y'all see this person here? My hand won't go all the way over there, but the clear man in the corner, his name is Robert Shaddix. Now check this post out. I got two more that's got quite disturbing, but this one first is getting cleaned up for our trip to Miami tomorrow. Why is there a clear man, old man at that, taking pictures of this young boy? Cause he had a sugar daddy. This ain't none of our business. That moved to Dallas with only 27 cents. One was giving out sugar daddy dick. Two equals three. We got a little further to go. Hold on. And then right above the one for the trip to Miami, we got him saying hit the gym early morning. Then hit the hot tub to relax the muscles. Flex before a day of yummy food. Thanks be to God. Some more of that fugazi. And why this man posting you saying he wouldn't let me cook tonight? Like you devastated because your man didn't allow you or let you cook. But well, Robert, probably because you didn't season nothing. Disregard the question up there that says, so nobody going to talk about Josh and his lover before he met Ashley? I always know he was a little sassy. When you want to become something, you have to do the things to receive it. What do you want to become? We want to become a scammer like you, Mr. Sir. But then the next part, we going back. I just hope the clear man's still alive, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. To Miss Dottie, who lost three fingers and settled for a million dollars out of court. To her relationship with Mr. Tate right here. Are you or are you not the sole owner of this 10,000 square foot castle that you redecorated the whole bunch of BS that we don't care about? Find out in the next part. What? See y'all there. I ain't gonna lie. Everything that she's saying don't have nothing to do with the price of tea in China. This is somebody else talking about her. Okay. The topic come up in the group that she actually won a million dollar lawsuit when she was working somewhere in Baltimore and her hand got stuck in a machine so and her finger got things. cut off. Then they started posting all these pictures, all these videos well, about of, of um, Ashley without the finger. And here's another another thing. It got super messy because Sherelle's friend, he then goes on TikTok <laughs> and make this her lady. Another thing. It got super messy because Sherelle's friend, he then goes on TikTok <laughs> and make this hilarious video. About, and I'm gonna put the video in here. But no, I'm not. I'm not making her losing a finger as a joke but 
just the the humor of the TikTok videos. It was just absolutely funny and entertaining. So I would insert those in here. I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting sick and tired of the rumors surrounding Ashley Grayson and her husband, Joshua Grayson. I don't know if y'all heard what the streets been saying, but the streets been talking. So Ashley Grayson claims she became a millionaire by repairing credit, then became a mega millionaire by selling courses on how to repair credit, and then made more millions by showing people how to make courses for pretty much any career. So Ashley uses... Okay, I'm done with this part. We need to get to the whole her taking somebody out. That's what we got to get to. Oh, damn. She was going to get to it. I don't know if you Then why does she include his ass? Okay. Excuse me. I don't know. At this point, we finna go on a treasure hunt. Okay. If somebody can find me a picture of her right pinky, I will cash up you $100. I swear to God. I swear to God. Wait, what? Damn. Party. The whole time, Josh is holding her right hand instead of her left hand. Zoom in a little closer. You know, you really can't see if all the fingers there, though. But when it comes time to put the ring on, baby, he switched the fingers, of course. But why was you holding the hand the whole time, sir? Why weren't you holding the right hand the whole time, sir? The whole time she walked in, she had her dress clenched like a crab, baby. <laughs> like, she was holding on. But, like, she was holding it kind of weird if you pay attention. Like, why you holding your dress like that, girl? Even when she took the picture of Monica, the hand was tucked. And Josh, he played right along with it, baby. He made sure. You can see all his fingers. Can't see her stuff. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. So right here, like you can see three fingers. I know I seen her thumb in one picture. So so far, we just need confirmation on the right pinky. We seen all the other fingers. We, we need confirmation on the right pinky. She'll hide her fingers on the boat. She'll hide them with a coke. Even when she's not alone, she hides her fingers with her phone. Even when she gets awards, she holds them kind of weird. <laughs> She'll hide them with a picture. Y'all ain't fucking with her. <laughs> but y'all, let me stop playing. She do be holding, like, the, the purse right sometime with the whole hand. And then when she switch over to the right hand, it's like that's her strong hand or something. She just need a finger. She just got to... <laughs> y'all, somebody come get this damn man. Got to grip it like a claw. That's it. She don't got to hold the whole thing. I don't know. At this point, we finna go on a treasure hunt. Okay. If somebody can find me a picture of her right pinky, I will cash up you $100. I swear to God. I swear to God. Okay. Y'all, I don't know what to say. Homeboy is funny. The situation isn't funny, but homeboy is funny. He funny as hell. And I ain't going to talk too much about that because... You could tell it's an insecurity for her because she don't want it known. She tell everything else. If she wanted it to be known, she would have told she would have told her Facebook cousins about it. So she don't want it known. That's cool. Like just respect. So she is missing you know, a, a cool. finger. Okay. Alright. So after this, this is where things really, really get crazy, y'all. I kid you not, Get after his it. live, after his 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 TikToks that he made, Olivia be, begins to speak out. Now, I wasn't going to speak on this situation because uh, obviously the FBI is involved. Ashley is the one that contacted the FBI, y'all. So like, Not music. No, ma'am. You know, we ain't doing that unless she got music in the background. Okay, so... It's the same video. She had that orange on. God, I can't. Larry, get the fuck out my face, dog. All right. Bet. Say it. Fucking dare. Fucking dare. We playing Larry Ball today, nigga. <laughs> Hell out my face.
Where is that live with her with the orange on? I just had it. There it is. Ooh, but and I know that most people think stuff like this. That's why I'm going to show y'all a piece of it. Oh, girl, she got music in the background in general. We're not doing that. <sighs> y'all, listen. I don't know, bruh. <laughs> y'all know we don't do the music. And then this was her live last night. Actually, like, she went to the uh, FBI talking about... She, she sent... See, the reason that I know... This is music in the background, too. Listen, if you know more, put it in the comments, bro. If you can find a video where it ain't no damn music, put it in the comments. Um, y'all know I don't play that music shit. Y'all think I was just doing that with Armand. I don't, I do that with everybody. I need my light bill paid. Okay. I don't need to give other people money. Not, not for, not the rich ones. Come on now. <laughs> we can't do that. Listen, especially not for no damn music. She listening to Janet Jackson. She already rich. Well, I need to listen to Janet Jackson on my shit phone. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below, man. I am trying my best to get more information. Please send me a link if you got info, inf more information. So this is part one. We're going to get into part two when we get the right thing. Okay? Some more information. All right? Uh, I'm done with this. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.